her way, and she thought she was doing the right thing, and I don't think she was. I don't think she had. Well, my name's Terry Finn, and I'm a recovering problem gambler with 40 years experience. Uh, I started gambling at the age of 13. I was working at a local racetrack here in, in the Ottawa area. Uh, it was owned by friends of my dad's and uh, I was working during the summers and when I was in high school. Uh, once I finished high school, I uh, stopped working at the track and became uh, a salesman uh, by day and full-time track patron by night. And uh, it carried on for the better part of 40 years. Uh, sometimes very intensive, other times it was a little bit less intensive, but it was always there. Um, good, good part of my, my uh, gambling career, if you will, uh, I was a closet gambler. Uh, in, in the final stages uh, that I gambled, my wife knew nothing about it. And uh, it, uh, it got to weigh on me, uh, for sure, uh, from a mental standpoint, because you're trying to juggle all kinds of lies and I would sneak home before I picked her up from work and pick up the uh, the mail uh, just to make sure that she didn't get any of the past due notices and uh, you know it's uh, it just it just kept going on and you know uh, I, I knew I had a problem but I didn't think it was a problem that I couldn't overcome because I always I always held on to the thought that you know I'm just one big win away from clearing everything up and nobody will know any better and I'll quit. It didn't happen though. The, the big win just didn't come. Uh, what, what did finally happen was that I, I hit a wall uh, and uh, I realized that the only way that uh, I was going to change things was f to stop. I was on my way to the casino for another round, round of trying to make some money to go to the horses with and somewhere between leaving the sales, the, the building where I was doing my sales and getting there, I finally said to myself, it's over, it's got to stop. That, that I'm not going to make the big win that I, think, that I keep thinking is going to be there for me, and I have to do something, I have to save myself. So instead of, instead of going gambling, I, I went and asked to be self-excluded. The, the hardest part of, of quitting uh, really was when, when I had to tell my wife that we were on the verge of bankruptcy and uh, that I had been gambling seriously for a number of years and uh, the, the total devastation on her face it just, it just broke my heart but I knew I had to do it. Uh, I knew that there was a, a very very good chance that she would leave me when I decided to quit but at that point I realized that if I didn't save me, then there was nothing for her, nothing for, for the family. Uh, and I took the chance. If you will, I took it was my final gamble. And that was my big win because I did stop gambling and uh, I, I'm really pleased to tell you that uh, my wife and I are still together. We just celebrated 22 years married and 25 years together. So if somebody's using it as, I mean, goes as, on occasion as, a, as an entertainment, there, there's nothing wrong with that. It's no different than going to a movie or going out for dinner. Uh, but you have to make sure that that's what it is for you. It's just a, a form of entertainment. It's not a way to make money.